Hello, and welcome back to A Valley Without Wind 2. There's been uh, four patches in the last week since I uh, last recorded one of these videos, so I'm going to try and go over a brief overview. For a start, they've redone the title track. You can hear that in the background now. Now got this vocal thing going on, and it's epic and awesome and amazing. I still like the old one, but this is fantastic as well. So, the whole strategic element has had a bit of an overhaul. Apparently, they reckon it was a bit boring before, so it's been made more interesting. Then they've done further strategic improvements, so now Demonica gets to cast debuffs on the map and summon minions for your for your um, colleagues, whatever, your survivors to fight. On top of that, they've redesigned the boss fights a bit, so the boss fights are a little bit more interesting, because the one I've seen so far wasn't that fantastic. And mercenaries, which we haven't seen yet, but I've seen the coins and we've heard of them. Apparently they've been removed and it's been replaced with extra loot and treasure. Wherever there was previously a coin, there'll be a treasure chest instead, which is kind of cool. So, I think we shall jump into this. If you want the entire link to this track, I'll throw that in the co in the description because there is, it is available elsewhere and rather than just sit through it all here uh, you can check it up in check it out in your own time so let's see what happens oh there we go we've got some numbers on the map now we've got demonica emerges in four turns what, what does the three mean is that his level don't know what these mean. So, right. Ah, her power. That's her power level. So we will get to find out. So is two his power level? Resistance member stationed here. Likolai Laseki wounded. Class scout power two. All oh, right, Demonica hasn't come out yet. That figure on the map is my wounded guy. So can I get him? Can I move him? Right. If you have another resistance member on an intact clinic tile, they have a chance at the end of every turn of healing a random wounded res resistance member. So I, he's just got to stay there and hope that this guy fixes him up within the next four turns before Demonica shows his face. Cool, cool, okay. Now here we've got... I believe... Ah, what happens if this NPC is left here? This turn rest, end of next turn recruit survivor, end of turn 5 scavenge resources. So that's how we get hold of them. So I can't do anything with him. Can't do any... Uh, that needs to be left there to recruit. He needs to run the clinic. He needs to run the farm. Can't do much else with my strategy until the end of the next turn, so I'd better make that happen. And we do that by picking somewhere that looks interesting to clear out. What's this? Got Swamp Pagodas. 55% danger for you and 30% danger to NPCs from threats and shelter. Presume danger still very much equal across the board in most cases, yeah. It's the same difficulty as everywhere else is supposed to be, so let's have a look at Swamp Pagodas. It's foul swelling swamp harbour strange monsters just waiting to dev devour me whole. My kind of vacation spot. Oh no 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 no, we've got those bleeding eels again. Come on. What are you and why can't you be hurt? Swamp gas. Okay. Did some damage to something there. Can we get the eel? Because I don't like the eels much. Ah, there we go. That's where a coin would have been. Now we've got tre treasure. Press E to get plus six lively coat of weakness. So equipment. Honestly, this could be a good or a bad thing. Any equipment I pick up is automatically equipped. The only way to unequip it is to take a lot of damage or die. Some equipment gives me awesome bonuses that I can make use of until the equipment breaks from my damage or my death. Other equipment is cursed and does things like weaken my shots or even set me on fire. Generally equipment does what it sounds like, so I should decide carefully whether or not to pick up any given piece. 
a lot more equipment on the help section. And I just developed my developed feelings for my last piece of loot. I haven't had a last piece of loot. That is erroneous text. How do I how do I get up here though? I can't climb this bit. It's that's not good. How, how on earth do I get up there? Oh right, I see. There is a gravestone there that tells me the last guy who tried to get across didn't have water dash. This is a thing I need to do, be able to do something there. So we're not going there. Um, let's have a look at the factory. Actually, that could be interesting. Can we do the factory? It used to be a bastion of life and culture, and now it's a dangerous ruin overrun with haywire security systems. Sounds fun. Fun on a bun. was an urban sniper. So yeah, interesting point that came up in the patch notes is that the initial game's design plan called for 11 different classes of enemy, of which there would be one of each type in each level, and every type of level would have unique enemies. So that's 11 different enemies in every type of level, of which I think there were about 13. So it came to about 130 different enemies in the game. Which is a lot to implement, and it's nowhere near complete yet. That is a ridiculous task, and it has been cut down somewhat. I do believe the current goal is somewhere near 110 enemies to implement, of which about 50 are complete. So, you can expect to see a lot more stuff coming over the next few weeks, I presume. We're still aiming for the February launch. Should be another 50 enemies to appear over the next four weeks. Hopefully. So yeah, th these are going to be the equivalent of the crocodiles that we saw in some of the other levels. But there's some sort of beetle type thing. Now, are those are going to be the treasure, aren't they? These odd looking treasure chests, but treasure chests nonetheless. Can we get to them somehow? Can we stand on the mushroom? We cannot stand on the mushroom. Uh, I'm guessing we need some more powers before we can get stuff. There are bits that just seem to be locked off just for... Just because you ain't good enough yet. Ow. Let's do some ground shots. Yeah, ground shots always work. There's a fish. And... Are they fighting amongst themselves, or does that thing just shoot whatever? Ow. Yeah. Wait, can I just bypass the whole spinny blade death thing? I, I can, but there's stingy plants. Ow. Damn bugs. I am curious, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if there's going to be like some treasure down here. There is not, let's take it, the non-spinny blade death route. Oop, more bugs. Yeah. Mechanical spiders those are. They don't look a lot like spiders, if I'm honest. That looks like what we've come here to fight. I should probably stop shooting myself. It's never a good strategy. Ah. No, there we go. Yes, got you. Can I hit that from here? I can. Not well, though. Ah. Come on. Yes. Eat it, spider. Eat it. And you, sniper. Right, there we go! Job done. Or is job not done until we've killed everything? There's a lot of snipers come out of the woodwork there. And it suddenly got really dark. Uh, I had a perk, didn't I? That would have added a lot more light to me. I should have taken that, that would have been a useful one here. Because there's not... Oh, my, spe my spells conjure light. They're good. I like my spells. That guy's huge! 
Very, very slow moving. Ah! Get out of it. Ooh, he didn't like that. A Ducleosteus, apparently. Whatever one of them is. So, cleared the, cleared the area. That's the end of a strategic turn. My injured guy is actually revived now. Brilliant. We gain morale because I won and didn't die. Doing alright. Doing alright. Did we recruit the other guy? I didn't. I, I didn't spot that. Events from last turn. Um, doesn't mention if they recruited anything or not. Right, this turn recruit survivor. Okay, so we've got to make another move before we can actually recruit someone for more. Demonica's going out in three. You're going to want to get out of there because that's not going to end well if Demonica comes out and you're stood there. So I want you to move to here where there's 17% danger. Hmm. I do need that guy rescuing though. Uh, you're not doing... Oh, you're, you're rescuing the survivor next turn, aren't you? Excellent. Or oh, this turn, in fact. You're... Right, I think everyone's everyone's working hard, everyone's doing their thing. It's time for me to go do my thing, I guess. Uh, swamp Pagoda's still no good. Let's just have a look at Swamp Swamp. Embark! People from the medieval age used to live in this place. This is one of the few places that constant warfare couldn't completely invade. Did some swamp before, so maybe I should pick somewhere new, but... Okay, you, you hit hard and fast, and I... Okay, it's, it's pretty straightforward to... Pretty straightforward to kill if you can hit it. Yeah, I suppose one of the advantages of being a whatever the class is that I'm called, the Luminomancer thingy, Light Mage, let's call it a Light Mage, is that all my spells do light everything up, which is useful. Ah, right, that thing's spawning everything. Ow! Damn! Right, let's move on where strange gas bags aren't throwing things at me. One, ah, no, 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 no. Ow. Right, so ah, this guy's shooting a lot of stuff. Projectiles everywhere. Ah, no, 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 no. Not good, don't go underwater. I might not be able to get out. More eels. Let's not go near the eels. We don't like eels. We learned our lesson the hard time last time. We learned our lesson the hard way last time. Ow! Ow! Uh, we know not to step on the blue plants now. Let's not step on the blue plants. Let's kill things that heal us, because, my god, do we need it. No treasure in this level? Really? I was hoping to find more treasure. I found, I found three so far, and two of them I couldn't access. Which is... sucks. Ah! Bloody eels. No! Where was that? You can take some of that. There is treasure down there, I can see that. Yes, 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 yes. Can I... Oh, no, I can't get under it. You're kidding me. How, how on earth are you supposed to get that one? Is there some sort of 
roly crawly to move. It's no crawl crawl move. Ow, let's not do that. Not strictly sure it's necessary to fight all of these. Oh god, no, no! Run away, run away, oh lord. How little health do I have? Yeah, I needed that. Wow. Let's take this out and call it a day, I think. Jeez. Ah. Don't like swamps. Something I should have mentioned before, maybe. That doesn't sound good. Well, you're purifying more of the world, and that's great. But, as you purify, time passes, and as time passes, Demonica gains power. Soon after emerging, he will start throwing overland spells at us. Sounds like I'm making him nervous. Yeah, and it's not just him. All these monsters are going to are going on increasing alert with each turn. Every turn you take, they move slightly faster, have slightly more health, and have slightly increased attacks. So I'm in an arms race then. I need to level up and capture mage cash before cash mage class caches before things get too hard on the monster side or Demonica starts throwing the really heavy spells around. Yeah, depending on the strategic and combat difficulty selected, there is more or less pressure. However, the default is fairly relaxed. Okay. Radio. Good to know. So we're in an arms race, and the way I the way I make stuff happen is by leveling up, I guess. So I need to get to all these windmills and destroy them as fast as possible, so that I've got more power than the enemy. So, um, you, you don't have any use because you've rescued someone. I presume you are the person that got rescued. Should probably have had a better look at the strategic overview. Still doesn't tell you if you've re rescued anyone, which seems like that'd be a good thing to know if someone's rescued a new a new survivor at the end of each turn. Oh, okay. Right, so I need to make you guys go places and do things. So we've cleared a factory out. Which means I need, I need you to move to here. At which point, can I tell you to do something? Poor place to scavenge food and scrap. It's a warehouse. I thought there would have been something. While held improves the food situation such that all survivors require one less food per turn. Okay. It's useful to have then. You can convert buildings. How do I do that? Build structure. That's right. So we've got... We've got five population... How do I... No, oh, I forget how, how do I find how much housing I have. I don't think I, I don't think I have. I think I need to build more, don't I? Convert region to desert factory. Convert region to desert housing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. So. Right, we've got some more room to the to house our survivors. Uh, what are you doing? You're going to recruit the survivor next turn, that's fine. You're farming, you're doing that. I was hoping you'd be able to do something with that. I'm not sure you can. That's concerning. And you're doing spot a building. That's strategy complete, I guess. Next nearest survivors to reach are up this away and over this away. So I'd be wise to clear some of this out, but I do feel like I may need to level up while I can. So that might be the next job for the next time. But for now, I shall leave it two turns from Demonica. I'll see you later.